One of the most popular tourist places on earth is France. There is much to savor, from world-class capitals like Paris, Bordeaux, and Marseille to the prehistoric treasures of the Vizier Valley and the stunning coastline of Brittany. There are many reasons you choose France as one of the most beautiful nations in the world, from visiting the lavender fields of Provence to touring magnificent chateaus. How well do you actually know the nation, though? Here is the 10 interesting facts about France. 1. France is the most visited country in the world. France is the most traveled to nation in the world. Every year, 89 million people travel to France to experience the culture and eat the delicious food. Paris is one of the most visited cities in the world. And France is the most visited country overall. In 2019, more than 19 million people traveled to Paris, France. Every year, it is ranked among the top 10 most popular cities. 2. France is the largest country in the EU and is sometimes called the Hexagon. The largest nation in the EU, with a total area of 551,695 square kilometers, is France. But behind Ukraine and the European part of Russia, it is just the third largest nation in Europe. France is the fourth most forested country in the EU, behind Sweden, Finland, and Spain, with about a third of its area covered in forest. Due to its six-sided design, the nation is also occasionally referred to as El Hexagon. 3. France has the highest number of Nobel Prize winners in literature in the world. One of France's most amazing facts is that it has more Nobel Prize winners in literature than any other country, which is a monument to the nation's dynamic and rich culture and creativity. Since some of the greatest philosophers, political thinkers, and writers have come from this stunning nation, it is really no wonder that more than 15 people have won the prize since it was established. Sully Prudhomme, a French poet who received the first ever Nobel Prize in Literature in 1901, Romain Roland, Roger Martin Dugard, Claude Simon, and other well-known French authors are among those who have received the honor. 4. The Louvre in Paris is the most visited art museum in the world. As a country known for its impressive art scene, it is no surprise that it is home to the world's largest and most visited art museum, the Louvre Museum. To demonstrate its popularity, the Louvre receives approximately 9 million visitors each year. The museum also houses approximately 380,000 objects, with approximately 35,000 on display, making it impossible to see everything in a single visit. In fact, even if you spent 20 minutes at each object, it would take you around 200 days to see everything. The world-famous Mona Lisa, Napoleon's coronation, the wedding at Cana, Liberty leading the people, and other famous paintings can be found in the Louvre. 5. France produces over 1,500 types of cheese. While the exact number of cheeses produced in France is unknown, it is estimated that over 1,500 different cheeses are produced. If you like cheese, this might sound like a dream come true. France, in fact, ranks among the top 10 countries in terms of cheese consumption. Cheese is consumed by more than 95% of the French population. French cheeses are distinguished by several characteristics, including how long they age, the process of making the cheese, and how moldy they are. 6. France is the first country to make throwing out or burning food illegal. If you want to take a peek into what North America's future may look like, take a look at France. At many grocery stores in Canada and the United States, it's actually illegal to give away leftover supermarket food. In fact, this rule applies to food that is still perfectly good. However, as of 2016, France has made it illegal to throw away unsold food that is perfectly edible. Instead of tossing it in the trash, you must donate all unsold food so those who need to eat can benefit from stores having a surplus of food. 7. The French love their sleep. Do you ever feel like a hamster trapped in the hamster wheel of business? Many Americans and Canadians agree, but they need to catch up with France. 
The French are sleeping while we rush to work, then soccer, then supper, then off to a social event. They place a high value on sleep and may even sleep more than you do. The French get about 8.83 hours of sleep per day on average. Sleep is so important to our health that we should prioritize it in our lives. Getting more sleep may also help to reduce stress and illness. When you visit France, you should be able to get plenty of rest, just like the rest of the country. 8. The Eiffel Tower is named after a special individual. Think again if you thought the Eiffel Tower was always a popular tourist attraction in France. Most people thought the tower was very ugly when it was first built. It took a long time for people to warm up to it. The Eiffel Tower is named after the genius and mastermind who designed it. Gustave Eiffel, the tower's engineer, bore the brunt of the criticism after it was built. If only he could see how popular his best work is now. 9. France has the most time zones in the world. One of the most astounding France facts is that the country, inclusive of all its overseas territories, has the most time zones in the world. If you include France's territorial claim in Antarctica, the country has 13 time zones in total, though mainland France follows only one. This wide variety is due to the significant distance between all of France's overseas territories like French Polynesia, Réunion, Guadeloupe, Martinique, and more. 10. France invented a system of measurement. As if France needed any more credit for creating icons, geniuses, and beauty in just about every way, they had the mathematical world covered as well. Gabriel Mouton was a vicar at St. Paul's Church, which is located in Lyons, France. He introduced the concept of a decimal system, which ended up being the beginning of a massive change in measurement starting in the late 1600s. As such, if you are used to the imperial method of measurement, adjusting to the metric system may be a bit of a shock to your brain. Before traveling to France, make sure you have an idea of the difference between miles and kilometers, inches and centimeters, and Fahrenheit versus Celsius. This is a great way to stay informed in case you get lost or are trying to plan out your next few days of travel.